Hi everyone. Hi mom. I wanted to do a quick share of my latest design team project for Artie Mays. And this is using the gorgeous Majestic Birds kits. I will post all the links below of everything I've used. Uh, and I've also used some J9 scraps, ephemera bits here and there, and I believe some EVG as well. But it's primarily Artie Mays. I did a small journal, which is uh, five by about five and a quarter. And I made it like, I wanted a shabby, chic, vintage, kind of rustic feel. And so I decided to use a paper bag for the, the cover, um, you know, as the base for it, because I love the way it feels and it's light and it's just perfect. This one sewn in signature. And as you can see, I've got some of the um, you know, just regular scrapbook paper there and then an image from the kit and some really nice little detail here and there because I love that. So let me show you inside. Look at these birds. It's just gorgeous. I did keep the big pocket so, you know, anyone can add whatever they want to that. And this one, of course, is the matching tag. I've put several of the tags in here as well. I have done some spraying of the pages and some coffee stain pages. Look at that bird. Oh. And again, I've left that open for extra journaling space there. And there's more of these gorgeous birds. It's vintage graph paper. And then this is the paintable wallpaper. And J9 scraps tag here. love the size it's so easy to carry the Rita flip and I really like the um, the size of the journal pages as well this is a tuck here and there look at these birds it feels almost square the pages and so there's you know plenty of room to journal I believe this is the EVG part and here as well and then here inside I left the pocket and this is from another Artie Mace kit but I used it here as well. So you can see the different, um, the way the pages have sprayed, they're just gorgeous. Journaling spaces here. This one will be available in my shop, um, so I will post that link below. J9 Scraps bag. I just love it, and I love the sound of the crunchy pages. This um, is the tags that she has, and I've just left them together so there's, you know, you can open it up and journal some more. That, the way that that came out, I love it. Oh, love, love, love. And this is the OA tag from J9 Scraps. And these, um, this kit is just great. It goes with so many things. And, you know, if you've got any nature themed items that you can add to this as well, that would be so great. Just more journaling spaces here as well. This is also the EVG section. And then here, this is a G9 Scraps blank ticket and more journaling space here. I can figure out how to open it. There we go. So I was thinking when I was making this that it would be such a great gift for somebody because it's not an intimidating size of a journal. You know, it's it's small enough that you can start to um, to journal in it and not have to put so much in it. You know, maybe even um, gratitude journal, that sort of thing. It's easy to carry. It would be a great starter also for someone that's, you know, thinking of making journals, but is not sure what to do. I just, th I was thinking that when I was making it because I love this size. It's just easy to carry and it's just, you know, it has just enough that, um, that you could get some ideas from it or just, you know, give it as a gorgeous gift to somebody. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will post all the links below and I have some more goodies and some more projects to share with you guys. So I'll see you soon. Bye.